Hey guys, welcome to Aaron's Review and in today's video we'll be showing you the DD Hi-Fi CM15 case which is suitable for the Feel M15, hence the reason why I've got my M15 here. I've just done the unboxing. I'm now going to show you the leather case that I, well, I tried to purchase from DD Hi-Fi, but the lady was extremely nice and said, so they actually sent me several products for me to show you. So the first product, well actually uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you one product, which is the CM15. So before I actually go in, I want to say thank you to DD Hi-Fi once again for sending this product for review. Definitely, I was, I never expected this. I was thinking of buying it, seeing if they're able to provide the discount. But in fact, they wanted me, well, they were able to give me it and so that I am able to test it and use it. Thank you to DD Hi-Fi. Uh, as mentioned, all items that I will review in this video and next video, because I've got another unboxing from them. The shop is down below. The first one is international websites. And the second one is for those who are located in Hong Kong. So this is what's missing in the M15 box, I feel. Uh, a leather case. One that I would rather have not this wooden box in, in replacement with just this, a leather case. There is actually a few M15 leather case, but I actually had a try of it when I was testing the M15. And I felt that the case was mediocre. It lacked style, it lacked color, and and the, this here, the CM15 that DD Hi-Fi provides, gives me something more, I feel, and that is the reason why I wanted to buy from this, hence the reason why I contacted them. So inside is CM15. Retail price of this case is about 59 US dollars. Uh, link is provided in the link below. You can see that it's similar to the adapters that they have, which I actually have two here right now, which I'm going to do in the next video. You can see that all the, uh, all the boxes are roughly similar. This is for the actually Fuel M15 leather case. There's only one version. On the side, CM15 at the back, nothing, nothing there. So roughly a simple case. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So here, you push it out, a bit of information, DD Hi-Fi, some fantastic products that they provided or made. We have a volume knob, so as to protect the volume area. And I'll show you in detail of this item in a minute. We have a keychain, which I will not use. I mean, some people use keychain. I'm not a person who uses keychain. And then inside we have a leather case and just to clarify, I've already unboxed it and used it and it smells fantastic. Even my kid said, whoa, it smells nice. The leather smell, the smell that it comes out from this. You can see here at the back is there's some holes so that heat can go away and it does help because the original fuel case does not have that and I felt that it's got some air holes on the on the field ones but i felt it lacked a bit of you know style i mean you can see here i'm enjoying the style and yeah that's the reason why i went for this field m15 case which is fantastic i'm hoping that dd hi-fi will provide us with an sp2000 case as i will be interested in buying that too or yeah what if they provide that Roughly, I'm looking for one that protects the side, so a bit similar to the Dignus one. So, yeah, DD High Five, if you're listening, if possible, please make us some more cases for other players too, please. Right, inside, you can see here, the back is ventilated. You can see holes inside so that there is, the heat can go away. Uh, with the M15, just to clarify, when I first purchased it, it was, and then I used it in here. So here is what happens, you know, you slip it in. This is what the case looks like. Fantastic case, why? Because you can actually feel where all the button is. On This is the most important part that I feel that comes to mind. This here, nothing. It's just, you know, just a bit, a bit of style so that both sides are similar. So there's nothing here. But on this side, this is where it's all the magic happens. Just above this area, so you can see here, this, this is where the button is. If you press the middle button, this is where it plays, play or pauses. This is where fast forward is. If you want to press under the seam so you can actually feel it, 
This is where your special button is, if you, depending how you set it up. And if you go up a little bit here, this is the back, uh, the back button. And here is where you turn on the power button. You can definitely feel it. Here, oh wait, I've, I've just gone past the seam, so must, that must be up there. That must be the power button. And then that's the power button to lock it again. And then here we have the hold switch, which I don't use really. Do I turn it off? Um, I really don't turn it off because uh, the battery is lasting super long. But I don't know, some people might like to use it with uh, turned off sometimes just to preserve battery or whatever. Uh, besides that, so how has it been using the M15? Well, it's this case fully protects the player for sure. You can see at the bottom, you have the access to the USB-C charging part. At the bottom here, sometimes, you know, there's a bit of, uh, of the metal sticking out, really. Uh, here, there is nothing that sticks out. So I'm actually gonna be happy just putting this player into my pocket, knowing that this is gonna be fully protected. But really, to be honest, I'm a person who likes to protect my gear fully. I then put it in this case, and then if I were to put it in this case, then obviously this might overheat a little bit. It's a bit warmer. Um, definitely on the first day when I had it and used it, uh, the machine had to be turned, could not, could not work because it's too overheated. So it said it needs to cool down before it can play. That was me using it in this scenario. But that was on the first day. Having now used it for, hmm, this is my fourth day now. Uh, I don't have any issues with putting it in the case. It seems to have, that problem seems to have gone away. Uh, when I use it at night time, yes, I'm using this at night time. It is, it is warm, not burning warm. It's just slightly warm, that's it. Yeah, so something that it overcame after, I think, a firmware update, which, which is probably why it has helped. Yeah, there was a firmware update which changed things and I can see that it is now just slightly warm, nothing burning. So, this is what the CM15 case looks like, and it looks fantastic. You can see the seams, you can see the back, you can see the back. I've not removed the stickers, you can see, because I like to protect my stuff fully. Uh, what's still missing is this part. When you buy the M, the field M15 case, that, the, the, that is the original one, there is no volume knob. So hence the reason why I thought, well, this is a better deal than what the other company's offering. Uh, if you look closely here, which I'll try to do right now, there is actually some indicators of what the volume is. So zero, one, two, and so forth. And if I to put it here, turn it to the minimum. This is minimum. There you go. Here you go, see it, right. Volume is zero. And then you can see the indicator zero. Turning it on, protects it fully. There's the volume you see here, it goes up now, jumps quite quickly though. Roughly, I would say about 40-ish is what you need. A fantastic leather case, one that I think should have been provided by a few company inside the box, cause you're buying something flagship, so I'm hoping that you should get something flagship. But sadly, it doesn't come with that. But luckily, DD Hi-Fi has came and helped us for providing this fantastic leather case. Uh, one that I do definitely recommend, having tried the other one when I was in the shops. And yeah, this, so this is the DD Hi-Fi CM15 leather case, which retails for 59 US dollars. And hopefully you found this video useful. I do have another DD Hi-Fi unboxing, and this will be in my next video. Thanks for watching and stay safe, guys.